Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now, Oppo Malaysia just launched the Find N2 Flip, which is honestly speaking, one of my most anticipated flip phones. Because it has been launched overseas for quite some time now, I'm finally very glad to share with you guys my experience since it's here in Malaysia. Now, what's so special about this flip phone? I mean, we've seen a couple of flip phones in the past, but the one on the Oppo Find N2 Flip here is actually really, really cool. I want to give you three points straight up before I begin this video on why this is actually such an exciting device. First, we have here a very large external display that is super useful. You can do a lot of things with it, access shortcuts, widgets, and I'll talk more about that later on. The second, my favorite thing here is that we do have here a new hinge. Oppo is calling this their new generation flexion hinge, and it's supposed to be able to stay put at any angle. And not only that, guys, it is very durable and has been tested and rated to be able to last up to 10 years. So if you do not plan to change your phone for the next 10 years and you're looking for a flip phone well guess what you should check out the fine hand to flip now the third thing that I'm just super keen to check out is of course the crease I know a lot of people out there are always concerned about the amount of crease that you can see on folding phones and I'm going to share with you whether it is visible or not with that said let's move on and check out a very quick unboxing of the fine and to flip Right, so when I first received this box guys, I mean it is really understated these days on how well certain companies you know, design their box and packaging. This one here looks really special. We have a very cool texture on the top and as soon as you flip it open, this is where you'll be greeted with the device. Now, we're gonna open the device later on and let's check out a couple of accessories first. So we have here the charger itself. Now this is a 67 watt SuperVoOC charger. Down below, you also have the Type-C cable. And on the left, you have here another packaging that contains a couple of accessories. We have here a couple of manuals and more importantly, we have a case in the box. Now the case this time comes in the form of a hard shell transparent case which is super clear and allows you to see through the design of that fine end to flip. So I think this is going to be a case that we will actually want to use compared to the other kind of cheap flimsy soft rubbery casings that we always get FOC in the box. Now with that out of the way, let us go through a very quick unwrapping of the fine end to flip. Alright guys, so now that we've unboxed the Find N2 Flip, let's take a look at their designs in further detail. I'm actually very fortunate today to have both colors here with me. We have here the Moon Lit Purple and we also have the Astro Black. Both textures are actually very different so you might want to pay attention to this section. Now the one on the purple is actually a very nice glossy back panel. There is no texture whatsoever on the back here and that makes it look very elegant and minimalist at the same time. Moving over to the Astro Black, now I like this black here because it's really dark. It's really like a dark matter kind of feel here and I think a lot of you will appreciate the fact that it is a matte-ish back panel. So no fingerprints whatsoever and you might think that it's going to be a bit slippery but actually it is not. It's actually very grippy and does feel very comfortable to hold. Other than that, it's worth mentioning as well that these are very slim devices and once you actually fold them close, they're not as thick as some other foldables here and it's actually super compact that you can pop into your pocket, you know, into your backpack or into any small bags for that matter. Speaking about the device being closed, I also noticed that with the new flexion hinge, there are no gaps between the display and this is great because it prevents dust and dirt from getting in and potentially damaging the display. Other than that, in terms of the weight, this is slightly just a fraction over 190 grams that makes it kind of lightweight but not so light to the point where it feels cheap and like a toy. This is actually a proper feeling device here that is very well made and you know has a premium quality to it. Right, so now that we've done talking about that design, let's talk a bit more about that external display because this is something that I really want to share with you. For this, let's move over to my desk so I can show you closer, up close and personal, what you can really do with this external display. Let's go. All right guys, so now that we're at the desk, let's take a look at this external display. You can see that I already have my always on for that external display, you can customize the kind of words here and you'll be able to see all your notification icons right from that always on. If you double tap it, this is where you'll be able to see that wallpaper of this screen. Drag down from the top and you'll be able to access a couple of toggles. Now this is what I said was super useful because you can switch on or off your Wi-Fi, you can go into airplane mode, you can put your phone into silent for instance or even do not disturb for that matter. So you have all those very useful shortcut toggles right from that cover display. 
Now, if you pull out from the bottom, this is where you can see a couple of notifications. And what I love about this is that you can actually respond to these notifications really quickly. So say for example, I want to reply to my friend here on Telegram. All I need to do is hit reply and I can choose to either reply with an emoji or with a sentence that you can actually customize guys. So I've already customized mine to say, you know, like don't catch on me, which is don't disturb me or like to tell him that I'm busy right now. So I just tap that and instantly he will get that reply. Like I said, you can also use an emoji here to send right across and you can even spam a couple of them right away from that cover display and this is actually super useful. All right, so let's go down and see what else we have here. If you swipe towards the left, uh, this is where you get into a couple of toggles for your camera. So you can actually access your video by just swiping across. You can go into your photo, your portraits. Everything is accessible on this external cover display. So I'm just going to take a very quick photo here. And again, you can choose directly to go into portrait mode for instance, and you'll be able to take that portrait shot. All right, so what else do we have here? We also have the weather app. Moving on, you actually have your calendar. So I have here a couple of items that I need to do, you know, tomorrow. So I need to go to the gardens, Bangsar, and even to the race circuit. So those are all synced with my Google calendar. So that's really awesome as well. And you also have here a very quick timer. So say for instance, you want to brush your teeth for two minutes, you can also do that. Or if you just want to tap that three minutes, you can also just tap it on that cover display. Now we also have a recorder. So let's say you're in class and you just want to quickly record whatever your lecturer is saying you know you can just access that hit that record button and it will start recording other than that you also have a wireless earphones information if you do you'll be able to see a couple of toggles right from the cover screen as well all right so last but not least just in case you're wondering what kind of settings you have with that external display we can go into the foldable features you can go into your cover screen style and this is where you can go through all the customizations notice that you can put there your wallpapers you can use interactive pads as well for the cover screen which you can actually see it moving here and there i'm going to show it to you real quick so let's just say i choose this cute kitten over here if I go to the external display, the cover screen, you will see a little animation of that little guy. All right, so you can also customize the always on display like I showed you earlier on. You can put in, you know, all kinds of bitmojis. You can put in your favorite text, which is what I have right now. You can also choose from a selection of digital clouds just to give your phone a little bit more personality from that cover screen itself. Pretty cool stuff there. All right guys, so now that I've shown you what you can actually do with that external display, let's talk a bit more about the phone in general, other features that you might want to find out as well. So about that crease, like I said, a lot of people are actually very concerned about the crease. And the good news here is that the crease is one of the least visible that I've seen on any smartphone to date. Now I'll be lying if I told you that it's completely invisible. It is still a little bit visible, but you will notice that at various angles at how you might hold your phone, you won't really notice that crease there. What I can say is perhaps if you have the chance to visit any Oppo store, you should definitely check it out and see like how invisible this crease is really at. And of course, I think a very quick tip here, if you choose a wallpaper that is a little bit more punchy, it makes it even more invisible. Other than that, just in terms of the display itself, it's a fairly bright display. It's 120 hertz. That means everything is going to be very smooth here. And the best part is that it is an LTPO AMOLED panel. That means that the refresh rate can be varied based on the kind of content that you are watching. Alright, so other than that, what's cool about this foldable phone here is that hinge. Now, we've got to talk a bit more about this next-gen flexion hinge that Oppo is really pushing. Like I said earlier on, it can stand at almost any angle and it's very firm, so it will not fall, especially if you need it to sit at a certain angle to capture details from either above or from below. Now, the good thing with this kind of flexible hinge, it really opens up a lot of possibilities into how you can create your photography. Other than that, it's also worth mentioning that we do have Oppo once again working with Hasselblad. That means that pictures taken will have a very natural kind of look. Other than that, it also comes with the Mary Silicon chip. That means, you know, basically taking photos will be a breeze. It's going to be very quick. And of course, you can expect some pretty flagship level pictures taken on this fine end to flip. Um, another sensor that you have at the back here is actually an 8 megapixel ultra wide. So that means no useless 2 megapixel macro lenses on this fine end to flip. On the inside, you do have that 32 megapixel selfie camera. But with this flip phone, I rarely use the selfie camera on the inside because you can actually use the main camera on the outside. Alright, so 
what else do we have here on this Finance 2 Flip? Well, I think we should definitely talk a bit about the battery as well. It comes with a 4300 mAh battery and more importantly, it has this 67 watt SuperVoOC charging that charges the phone from 0 to 50% in slightly more than 20 minutes and all the way to 100% in slightly less than an hour. Well, based on my past one week of using the Find N2 Flip, what I can tell you is that the battery life has been holding up pretty well. I wouldn't say that it's the longest battery life here. I mean, let's face it, it's 4300 mAh, but for a battery of this size, I was able to pull through an entire day on one single charge by browsing constantly on my social media, taking a lot of photos, occasionally playing one or two games, which I think is definitely sufficient for a single day. Um, other than that, what else do we have here in terms of the power? This is being powered by the Dimensity 9000 Plus processor. You know, this is actually a very strong processor from MediaTek. It is actually very close in terms of performance to, you know, the Snapdragon's flagship processor. So just in terms of performance, you won't have to worry about that. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up my quick review of the Oppo Find N2 Flip. Overall, I must say that this is definitely one of the best flip phones that I've ever experienced. Definitely from the perspective of a user experience because the external display here really gives you a lot of shortcuts that you can access and the widgets and of course, taking portrait selfies from that main 50 megapixel sensor is so much easier with that large display. Other than that, you also have that durable hinge so you don't have to worry about it getting loose over time. And last but not least, you have that really almost invisible crease on the inside. Um, if you have any further questions questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you want to pre-order this device, I'll put in some information on the screen right now so you can follow them. And of course, check out the links down below to pre-order from Oppo Malaysia. Thank you for watching today's video all the way to the end guys and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Stay safe everybody. Bye!